welcome to new recording places because I am not at home so I'm just finding random spots and it's more likely gonna be in the car for a while so hello hi welcome we're gonna talk about this book today so this is the ninth book in the series needless to say ninth books it kind of you need to read the other ones a little bit for at least the subplot that goes through the entire series here we are with Live and Let Pie by Ellie Alexander. Again, ninth book in the A Bake Shop Mystery. So this one we are going through and it's interesting. So the little lake and picnic scene here, there's a lake that ends up with a long-term and recent murder. And yeah, I don't wanna give a whole lot of spoilers right off the bat. But with it being the ninth book, there's a little bit of the subplot. Honestly, it really didn't feel like it moved that much, but that's one of the things I actually like. I like the slow burn back plot, and then you have the little plot of the main book. And so yeah, this one, it revolves around a lake and a murder, and technically actually two from eons ago and then modernly as well, obviously. I loved this book. I love these books. I think they're really fun. So if you don't love cozy mysteries, you're not going to love this. I did. Now, I've looked at some of the reviews. Some people don't love this slow burn back plot that's been going on for like several books. I don't mind it. I actually really like it because it just, it's a slow background thing that's more realistic to how life actually goes. But then of course there's the other side of it where you do have to suspend a little disbelief because like, yeah, like, one of the reviews that I read for this one was like, oh my god, like, how is it that a baker does all of these things? And I'm like, well, it's fun. It's really fun, actually, to have a random baker in this little town in Oregon to figure out the murder. And, you know, like, to me, it is it is reminiscent of, like, really any of the fun little books, you know? Like, as kids, you didn't really have, like, oh, well, that's unrealistic. That's how I feel about these. I don't care that it's unrealistic. They're fun. <laughs> and I like them. If you like cozy mysteries, this is a fantastic series to get into. You got a lot of them. I think there's like 18 or 19 in this series. There's a lot. Now onto a little bit of the spoilers for this one. So I wish we had had a little bit more of a conclusion with, I think her name was like Ann Mill or something like that, or Anna Mill or something. I wish we had had a little bit more of a conclusion with what happened to her because she seemed very independent so I don't know why her house was in such disarray and like what happened with her. Like I know it's a random thing but like I want to know and it just it didn't feel like that part really wrapped up as much as I would have preferred where it's like oh well we're gonna get adult services involved and I'm like okay but like I don't know they don't always do a lot you know so it's like I kind of wish we could have gotten more with that maybe in the future I doubt it but that part I was just like mm, I wish there was just like a little little bit more but I did like that the two murders were connected from like when that generation was like early 20s and to now their 80s like that was really fun to see that it was like the two murders ended up being connected in some ways and yeah i thought it was really good i really liked it i didn't really see henry being the one to do it but then also it does make sense like that little nugget of like you know listening to the story about edgar just he doesn't seem like that dude you know and so, yeah, anyways, or George or whatever. But yeah, I really, really loved these. These are just so fun. And honestly, like, they're just, they're like a comforting little friend. Like, I just love that I know exactly what I'm getting into for these books. Like, I know in the end, kind of the plot points that are gonna happen, but you never know exactly how they're going to happen. And I love that. Like, it's fun to be able to look forward to something and see how we get to that something and how it's gonna play out in this book compared to the other ones. And like, it's, as I read through these kinds of books, they all follow the similar format. And I used to hate when books, you could guesstimate what was gonna happen. But now I look forward to it because it's like, how are you gonna pull it together this time? How is this set of events gonna happen? to still fit into that same system. Because you know when you get towards the end of the book, she's always going to confront the murderer every time. And it's all gonna come together right at the same time. But how is it gonna happen this time? I love that. And I love that at the end of this one in particular, where they kind of came to a compromise of who's gonna deal with that lot and what's gonna happen. I really liked how that kind of came together. 
I hope that there's a little bit more with that in the next books. I feel like no. I feel like it's just like the little things that like kind of happen, but it doesn't really matter. So like we're not going to talk about it again <laughs> kind of a thing. But yeah, overall, I absolutely love these. I cannot wait to read more from her. They are just such fun little stories to go through. So anyways, thank you for coming along for this quick little book talk. I would love to know your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. Of course, if you want to check out my books, they are always linked down below. And of course, till next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all soon.